Now, when the police come to your house, do they ask for the man? No. They ask for the oldest woman. Because the oldest yeah. female is more than likely the one in charge. Why is that? Because grandpas that we used to have, they not here no more. Bring it out. That structure that grandpa had, where grandma didn't do nothing without his permission, where grandpa had the family structure down pat, grandpa laid the law, and he passed that down to, to daddy, and daddy passed that down to us, that's been lost. Bring it out. Because old people, they love, they sin, and they hate to change. The only thing that we gotta do is change. We are a lawless people, so what's gonna protect and, and change a lawless people? Laws. Right. We just read, sin is the breaking of God's laws. Hebrews 13 and 4. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. Because guess what? I'm going to use Nipsey Hussle as an example. How many of y'all know who Nipsey Hussle is? You know that? He was married to, to Lauren London. Well, he was with Lauren London, right? They had a baby together. Nipsey died. And guess what? Lauren don't mean nothing. Bring it out. You're supposed to pass an inheritance on to your children. Right. You're supposed to have your family took care of when you die. But if you're not married and you die, the lawyer is going to say, your estate goes to your next of kin. Let's say your brother wicked as hell. He going to take all your money and he going to spend it all. Right. And the woman that you was with because you didn't marry her, it, nothing goes to her. Right. Nothing. That's why the Bible says marriage is honorable. Right. Because we pass down inheritance to our children. See? From husband to wife, wife to kids. That's the responsible thing. How you think white people own New Orleans? Right. How you think they go down to the Garden District and own St. Charles? All they own money, all them houses they living in? Why you think they gentrified the Calio? This used to be the Calio project. And it's full of white people now. The same blocks I see people get shot on, I see white people walking their dog. Bring it out. Come on, man. That don't show you something. And when them white people die, guess what? Their kids are gonna get all this. Right. And black people still gonna be going to cages, feeding their kids. Right. Them Asian people, them Asian people, they send their kids to college by selling us defiled food. Bring it out. I'm gonna show you another law. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. Bring it out. The reason why, you ever heard, how many people you know with high blood pressure? Really? How many people you know Plenty. that have had high blood pressure, gout, migraines, sleep apnea? Hundreds, thousands. Where did that come from? Where, where high blood pressure come from? Eating all that bad food. What's the first thing the doctor tell you as soon as you get high blood pressure, as soon as you get diagnosed, what do you say? Why does he say cut out the seafood and the pork? Because it ain't good in the first place. But because we don't take a crawfish tail and die immediately, we say, well, it ain't killed me yet. Then you get 40, 45 years old, now you got high blood pressure, you got to take medicine for the rest of your life, and you mad. Bring it but out. God already gave you a law to follow. Read that. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine. The swine is the pig. It's a pig. Read. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. Though his 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 hoof is the party like that. And it's cloven footed, read. Yet he chewed not the cud. He don't chew the cud, meaning a cow will eat something, regurgitate it, digest it again, regurgitate it, digest it. It's his own filtration system. That's why beef is good. That's why chicken is good. That's why these things are good. Pork will eat dead bodies. How do you think they got rid of bodies on the battlefield back in the day? They used to send pigs to eat the bodies up. Read. He is unclean to you. The pig is unclean to us. Why do, do you think it's a coincidence that you go to Walmart and something that's beef, a beef steak will cost you $17, $18? But pork tenderloins will cost you $4.99? Bring it out. 
They make it easy for us to get because they want to keep us unhealthy. The more we, re the more we remain unhealthy, the more we get messed up up in here. Because bad food don't just affect your high blood pressure, it affects your spirit. Bring it out. It affects your mind. Why do you think everybody that eat crawfish, they all got the same attitude? They easily upset. They easily angry at things. They don't want to listen to nothing. And they always arguing. Everybody that eat from here, every time they go home, they argue with somebody. Why? Because this stuff is spiritual. That pork that you eat, you're eating what it ate. So if pork was eating dead bodies, and you eating its meat, you eating dead bodies. Right. Go down to verse 9. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Now they got things that are in the waters. Now let's talk about the seafood, because ain't that something else that the doctor say? Cut out. Cut out the pork. Cut out the seafood. Watch. God already told you to cut it out. Read. Whatsoever had fins and scales. They have to have fins and scales. Let me ask you something. Does catfish have fins and scales? No. Catfish don't have scales. Catfish absorb all the poison in the water. Bring it out. Catfish is a bottom feeder. It's, it's, it's something that helps to keep the ocean clean. Have you ever known? You ever been to Florida? Have you ever noticed the color of Florida's water? What color is it? Like a greenish bluish, right? What color is our water? Brown, damn near black. Why is that? Because we're eating the things that clean the water. Right. It has to have fins and scales. Read it again. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever has fins and scales, in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers. Them shall you eat. You have to eat things that have fins and scales. Does crawfish have fins and scales? Nope. Does crab have fins and scales? Nope. Does clams, oysters, does that have fins and scales? No. If you put a bunch of oysters in some dirty water, you come back, uh, what, an hour and a half later, that water gonna be clean. Bring it out. Oysters, clean water. Right. A, a, a crawfish and a shrimp, it ain't nothing but a sea roach. Bring Would you out. eat a roach? Would you eat a roach? But if we eat shrimp, that's what we eat. We eat the roaches in the sea. Bring it out. That's what we eat. They look alike. One is on land, one is in the ocean. That's the only difference. The same body structure, all that. And when we get sick, the doctor tell us stop eating that. Right. Why? Because God said don't eat it in the first place. They know that. But they keep their medical system going with places like this. As long as we continue eating pork and seafood, guess what? We go, we go to places like this, they get rich, they send their kids to school, their kids become doctors, those doctors, they gotta uh, go to the, uh, the, the, the health clinics and all of that. And they just return the money. We paying for the food and we paying for the medicine. And the main cause of it is what we eat. Those are laws that God said that we gotta that we gotta abide by. Without those laws, guess what? We still get sick. Give me Deuteronomy 2861. We get sick. We don't love one another. And when I say love, I'm not talking about hugs and kisses. The love that our elders showed us when I was growing up was to tell you that you was out of your mind and you need to fix yourself. You know? That's love. You got kids? You give your kids a whooping, right? Does that mean that you hate them? No, you give them a whooping because you love them. You want them to feel the pain so that they don't make the mistake again. This is God. Because of Donald Trump and, and Joe Biden. Two white people that don't give a damn about us. They, they don't. They don't care about us. What the black man gonna offer the white man with everything? Honestly, what what 
Not even our vote matters. If our life don't matter, who makes us think our vote won't matter? They kill us in the street and they get off not guilty. You think they're gonna sit there, oh, well, black people sure did vote. You think we voted our way into the hood? Bring it out. You think it was a vote when they built the, the, the Positron Expressway up there to pass up all the black businesses that used to be down there off of, off of Calio Street? It wasn't no vote, they just did it. And they passed that wealth down generation to generation. You know what we passed down? Trauma. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness, every sickness, high blood pressure, heart disease, gout, syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS, HIV, stroke, read. And every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. The cancer that we get from smoking them cancer sticks. Cancer is not written in the Bible. Bring it but out. it comes on us, why? Because of what we do. We gotta stop, bro. That's a cigarette, right? What do you get out of that? I mean, I was Years ago, I used to smoke cigarettes. What do you get out of it? The taste. Yeah, you know, it, it, uh, you don't get nothing. It calms you down. Guess what? Five minutes after you get calmed down, so called, you gotta smoke another one to calm your nerves again. Bring it out. It's not a cure. You could do breathing exercises for all that to calm you down. That's all you're doing. The only difference is you, you're getting sicker with every breath that you take from that thing. Alright. But why do it, bro? Brothers like you gotta change, bro. We got to change. I quit before. You know what I'm saying? So quit again. Don't buy no cigarettes. Because it ain't nothing but other people getting rich off of your back. Alright, you And then when you go to the hospital, the same people will get rich off of your desk. Hey. So they ain't do nothing making money off you. Tenfold, bro. We merchandise. That's all we is. We merchandise. Bring it out. They don't care about our lives. If you, as long as you keep smoking, overly drinking, they women, bro. Right. It's just one less black man. That's all they see it as. What kind of food do you suggest we should eat then? That's going to give us like everything our body needs. You know what I mean? What kind of food you eat? Yeah. Well, everything has to be done in moderation. Because you can eat good food but still overeat. But chicken, lean meat, like beef, lamb, goat, all of these things are clean for you to eat. Right. Vegetables. Eat healthy food. You don't need to eat cheeseburgers all the time. Yes, beef is, is it's a cheeseburger. Beef is lawful for you to have. You can have it. But if you eat too much of it, guess what? You're going to start to feel bad. You're going to start to get more sickness. Right. What's going to give us um, all our minerals, you know what I mean? Like, like for our body. Because I, I know um, that's one of the reasons why we get sick too, you know what I mean? Because we, we, we lacking in nutrients or lacking in minerals. So what like, about I don't really think about it. Yeah. All right, so you got a yeah. diet plan then? Yeah. That's gonna give you all your minerals, run into. Yeah. Alright, I'm ahead. Yeah. I'm ahead. Yeah. Actually it's 104. But I see where you're going. Cause I even followed Dr. Sabi years ago. And you know what happened to Dr. Sabi? He got killed. So all of that knowledge of health and all of that did not help him when it came down to the white man getting his hands on him. Watch this. Read that. Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. And God said. Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth. Herbs are like collard greens, turnip greens. Eat your colors. Have you ever wondered why they have red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers? Everything that we eat. If you need iron in your blood, what do you eat? Dark leafy greens. So you can eat spinach, you can eat kale, you can eat mustard greens, collard greens. If you need potassium, what do you eat? Bananas and shit like that. Yellow things. Yellow things. Because nine times out of ten, things that are yellow has potassium in it. Right. If you need vitamin C, what do you eat? 
orange things. Why? Because things that are orange got vitamin C in it. Sweet potatoes, oranges. If you need, if you need antioxidants for your blood, what do you eat? Purple things, because it delivers oxygen to your blood. Or red things like watermelon. So the, the Bible does have a diet plan. Right. You just have to know how to look at it. Bring it out. The diet plan, I can tell you for sure, it ain't that. Right. I can tell you the diet plan for sure ain't cigarettes. I can tell you that for a fact. Everything you just said, you don't say that in the Bible. You wanna know why? Because we know what to eat. As long as you're eating healthy, you don't have to count how many minerals you get. No, you don't. I'm living proof. Do you got a degree in in uh in in, in herbology? So I'm asking. How how would you know if you lacking in some minerals or not? You wouldn't know. Yes, you would. Your body would give you symptoms. You gotta go get a count, like you know. Well, you know. That's trusting in the white man. I'm telling you. What you doing? You're trusting in the white man. Cause if I'm telling you, go back, read that, read that. Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-nine, and God said. Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, and the which is the fruit of a tree yield the seed, to you it shall be for me. So we just discussed eating your colors, correct? You know for a fact if you ate your colors, you're gonna get all your vitamins and minerals. Right. So I'm asking you, you can't make it to where each meal has all of the stuff that you need? I don't think it do. You know what I mean? Cause I, cause like you can eat a whole- Name, um, name uh, one way you cannot get all your, your, your body with your If you have lack of knowledge, you know what I mean? And, and what you getting from what you eat. All right. You know what I mean? The knowledge that we're getting comes from here. Right. The knowledge that we're getting well, look, well, hold on, wait, 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 watch this, watch this. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how that broad knowledge still works. We just got finished discussing about high blood pressure, right? Did I give you medication to tell you how to get off high blood pressure? Did I give you any medicines to tell you how to get off high blood pressure? Bring it on. What did I give you? Knowledge to do what? How to get out of blood pressure? Oh, what to eat. What to eat? Did I have to tell you specifically what to eat to get off? To not have high blood pressure? No. All I had to do was show you what the Bible says about what to eat. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.